Hi, this is Dave in Western Pennsylvania. I'm a chemistry professor with a university in Western PA, USA. I work with batteries, particularly I focus on uh, self-discharge profiles and uh, ionic liquid, deep eutectic electrolytes. In any event, when you're working with small batteries, let's say one and a half, 1.8 volts, you want to follow the power output and maybe get down below a volt and uh, people in uh, this area will often use what's called the jewel thief and the jewel thief can take a white LED that requires about 3 volts 3.0 volts and with the jewel thief you can get down to possibly 0 0.8 volts and at least provide a uh, decent load when you're evaluating a battery prototype let's say you're doing work in school or at home with batteries. Well anyway, there are plenty of videos on YouTube for making jewel thieves and it takes about 45 minutes, let's say, a little bit of soldering, you need a transistor, a resistor, and a 10 to 12 wrapped uh, toroid. And uh, in about 35 minutes, 45 minutes, you can make, uh, make one at home for use. Here's a commercially available one that I'll mention in passing. And this is being sold on eBay by a vendor in uh, Greece. $5.50 postpaid USD. And I bought a couple from him to test them out. I have a video on its performance. It works just fine. And uh, that way, if you don't want to make one and you want to have a couple around on the bench top, uh, this would work fine. And uh, he'll send it along with uh, each one with a, uh, a white LED. I have this hooked up with alligator clips. Right now, I'm running off a uh, rechargeable AAA battery. It's been running for uh, maybe a day. That was a fully charged uh, nickel cad, uh, nickel, uh, no, nickel metal hydride, excuse me. So that'll run for a while. Okay, now, the purpose of this video. Down at my local Walmart, particularly in western Pennsylvania, this is the time of year when uh, uh, garden things, solar lights are kept in the back. These are uh, products sold by Walmart, and it's a familiar uh, garden solar lamp, solar light. Uh, what's nice about it, they sell here for a dollar each plus state sales tax and it's a product made by Westinghouse and uh, Westinghouse under the trade name of Bright and uh, here's a product number I'll write this out for you but item number 57 Seven one oh five dash D A W and uh, customer service. I'll give you that to customer service at idcttexas.com in case uh, you can't find one and you'd like to find uh, where you can get them. Well, anyway, what's nice? It kicks out 2.7 volts under optimum lighting conditions. And uh, I'm going to remove this from the stake. I'll just put that down. And uh, there's the photovoltaic. And what you want to do to make a jewel thief alternative, you pull out that tab, of course, to begin activation. There's a couple of screws there. Pop them out. And when you do, gently remove the housing from... Uh, the photovoltaic from uh, what's inside and what you'll, I'll put this down over here, and what you'll find inside um, is the circuit so it allows the LED to light at night when there's no uh, visible light around. Uh, nickel cad batteries are in there so for a dollar you're also getting a familiar two-third AA 1.2 volt, about a modest 200 milliamp hours, but good enough for lighting. So you've got some of these uh, workhorse nickel cads for other projects. And if you don't remove the photovoltaic, I'm using it as the base here, and you just 
hook up a couple of alligator clips. I have it running right now with another rechargeable nickel metal hydride AAA. Uh, when you're done using it as a jewel thief, see so you have a small white LED, smaller than the conventional ones, and that's the key to this video. Now, when you're done using this as a jewel thief, you can always pop it back together, attach it to the stake, and put it outdoors and use it for solar lighting. Don't forget to pop the nickel CAD battery back in. And uh, here's a couple that I have devoted full time to jewel thief work. So what I did was uh, remove the photovoltaic for other projects. And I have that one hooked up with a double A. I just popped that in this morning. Well, how low can you get? With this white LED, you can get down to 0 0.52 volts. Now, a conventional jewel thief takes you down to about 0 0.8. So I strongly recommend this as a jewel thief alternative because you'll get down to uh, just a tiny bit over half a volt. And that's pretty good if you're going to be working with developing your own batteries for study. So it works really nice for a dollar and then you get the photovoltaic and the nickel cad battery for other projects. Uh, here's one where I stripped it down basically to the, the LED. I left the circuitry there and I've got that hooked up to a, uh, what do we got there, triple A battery. And it's running just fine. And uh, here's one where I uh, soldered it. So I've got this devoted to full time. And I'm running a Radio Shack uh, Alkaline AA. So it, they perform very well. So if you can get a hold of one of these for a dollar plus your local sales tax, you're going to be good to go with a uh, Jewel Thief alternative that will take you down to, uh, well, at least when I'm getting 0 0.52 volts. Thanks for watching. Bye.